the genesis of TouchCast was seeing a lot of science fiction movies and kind of trying to project ourselves into what is that future of video as we kind of collectively see it um, in films like Minority Report or practically every science fiction film you see like Avatar and others. There's a constant theme uh, when it has to do with video and technology and then all these screens are like transparent screens and people are moving things around them. And uh, I really wanted to explore that uh, and make that a reality but there wasn't such a uh, camera in existence, or a screen for that matter, there really isn't. There's a lot of parlor tricks with projections, et cetera, but there isn't really a transparent touch screen that you can create content on. So that's kind of where the effort started, is to create the first ever transparent interactive touch screen that could be used in, in a production environment where you can create transparent uh, content, moving things around. Uh, and we solved for that basic problem in terms of the optics, physics of it, the technology, the software, and that resulted in this giant rig that's over there that you can't see off camera, which is for use in a professional environment, uh, like a network or cable channel. But once we got there, we realized that there's actually a much more exciting part of this initiative, which is once we have video that the user is creating that's got all these interactive elements on it, we can also allow the viewer to interact with them, which kind of opened our eyes to really what we think is the next age of the web, uh, which is, we call it the video web. And by that we mean that the canvas of the web is video, as opposed to where we are today, where video plays a role in the web that looks and feels more like a magazine. Uh, we think of the web today, uh, I think we'll look at it a few years from now, kind of like the way we look at teletext as kind of this ancient thing that is very clunky and really is replicating print. But the future of the web, I think, will feel more like cable TV with all of the glitz and glamour of that, but will be interactive. So when you think about a lot of the broadcasters that are more progressive in their use of overlays and more information, such as an ESPN or others, you look at what that looks like, it really starts to look like an interface. You kind of expect that you can start touching it, but obviously the stacks are totally separate. And TouchCast breaks that invisible barrier and makes it possible to create this content that's fully interactive. So when I pull up, let's say, a Google map and talk about it, about something that's happened in Boston, you can touch it and start zooming in and zooming out while I'm talking to you. If I talk about a story on the Huffington Post, you can click it and read it while I'm talking to you. If I talk about the mortgage situation and I pull up uh, a calculator, you can calculate your interest rate as I'm talking, et cetera. So basically, think of the analogy of like a sock that's getting turned over. If once the web was this little quadrant and we programmed around it, now the, web, the video is the full canvas and all this stuff is moving into it. The first product that people will have access to is our iPad product. So we started in kind of the high end for broadcast with 1080p SDI outputs that are ready for broadcast quality. But we realized that all this core IP and technology, which is really heavy lifting to make this all work, can also apply to mobile. And we started working in earnest on the iPad version, which is actually the first thing to go into the market. So you'll be able to get all of this capability that's akin to like a full TV truck with all of the graphics and overlays and chroma key and interactive abilities all on this, these iPads. And these iPads are just phenomenal in terms of their capabilities when you think about the iPad 4 and what we have in store for us soon. You have beautiful HD sensors, you have a lot of processor capacity, and you have internet connectivity. So when you think about what happens, not only uh, when you create this kind of interactive videos, but also what happens when the web meets, or the internet meets the camera. So you, I always use the analogy of like, if you've seen Battlestar Galactica, and you have this scene where you have all these journalists, and they're walking up to the president and her shuttle, and someone, a creative director, needed to come up with what does that camera look like? What are they using? Right? And that's kind of what this TouchCast camera is when it's on an iPad because it's not just about capturing the image like we're doing now. As you're talking to me, you can affect a lot of things and it, that content could be much more in depth. You can capture a lot more of what I'm talking about as part of this discussion. Um, and in turn, it's a real revolution when the camera meets the internet. Uh, and you can enhance it with a lot of content. And that content is then interactive uh, when it's consumed. So this package of whatever amount of minutes we talk about TouchCast also includes quick access to the website, to example videos, to a million other things that are all just packaged in a very tight and neat way and create a very fluid experience for when it's consumed.